Greetings everyone, this is Weasel. And I'm back to make another video for Dungeon Warfare because someone on the Steam forums wanted to see what I could do with some Endless Mode. They said they were having some frustrations with the game and I, I've been there. One thing that can help you with frustrations is increasing your level. You can see at level 79 you have a starting gold bonus of 3,900. Uh, and whenever you have higher levels, you have more gems to advance your trap mastery, and you can also spend it on more starting gold. And lower cooldowns and more damage on your traps and more starting gold can make a lot of levels that are headaches mm, somewhat easier. Uh, so that said, I picked out a level, I think, fairly early. Most people should have access to it. Just going to show you what you can do with endless mode. Uh, you see that 22 million experience points. And some portion of that is from Endless Mode. This one I've only got 176,000 or so. This one has 1.187 million. Uh, we got 627,000 on ore storage. And I figure ore storage is pretty early. And so this will give you a chance to try it with all kinds of different traps and whatnot. So I picked out ore storage. And... Here's some runes. <clears throat> I'll be going with blood, so first guy to get through, that'll end my endless run. But it's got that sweet 1.3 you know, multiplier. Uh, scythe, Rust, Fort, Anchor, uh, no, not none other, let's see. Frenzy, Vine, and of course Infinity for Endless Mode. So let's get in there and set this up. This one Another reason I kind of picked this one out is even early game, you can kind of do some neat stuff because it gives you 12 free barricades. So I'm going to start out left to right. Here we have the entrance for the enemies. And this is obviously we have barricades because that's an unacceptable path for them to take. Put your first barricades here, it will stop them from going straight in there, and they will have to go down here by the pit. That's what we want. Now, the reason I put them over here in this configuration is because if you put them right here, you will have dwarves eventually, and they will blow them up. But if you put them over here, they're outside of the dwarf sight radius, and so they won't aggro on your bear case. So there's your little pit. You can even take advantage of that in other levels. A little pop there, excuse me. Uh, my bear case is fully... Now that I've done that, I'm looking at my trap bar down here, and I was on another level, and this is not the traps I want to use, so that's why we have a restart. So what traps do I want to use? Let's see. I definitely want to use this pit here, so I definitely want my spring traps available. Uh, the black hole would, would almost be good here, but... The spring traps are going to do what I want the black hole to do more reliably. So I make sure, and as much as I love my black hole trap, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to take that off the bar. I'm going to get the hex trap. Because I'm probably going to need it for these later parts over here. So it's a uh, re barricade. Re barricade. Barricade. <laughs> I want to take a, a moment to point this out before all the death and dying and loudness starts. Um, these options, which that music is. Yeah. Right. The enemies are going to come up here, and go around over here. And they have this little optional path here. That means we can use the barricades to block this. It also means when like a horse or a brute or one or two little guys like manage to slip through, ow, I can squish them. So that's good. And I'll have five free barricades to do it with. I feel like most of these barricades will probably survive. The dwarves will bypass them and they'll go through my kill box and whatnot. So endless have also got a soul harvester. Soul harvester is usually a pretty important thing to have on an endless mode. I've gotten, you know, over 30,000 gold on Soul Harvester Profit. 
before, so you know, it definitely helps you put down more traps. Especially because you know, after five traps, the traps are getting more expensive, and you need more and more of them because of the bigger waves. All right, we're five minutes in. Let's go ahead and get this uh, set up. Here, we're gonna put some stuff. A little bit about that. If you don't have a hex trap, uh, you can have it can hurt you on later levels or later waves of endless mode uh, because you'll have one really high hit point guy like so through. But the hex trap, it's got a slow cooldown, but it's an insta kill on any unit in the game, pretty much. So I'm gonna take advantage of that if you get a chance, definitely. All right, this looks like a good start. So let's go ahead and hit it. Going well so far. About 2,000 gold, the Soul Harvester pays for itself, so we're about to be making profit from it. Game's telling me my uh, trap gear limit has been increased. gold on the uh, soul harvester. Oh, uh, the dwarves did find my barricades up here. It's unacceptable. Alright, got some extra gold. Let's see, I had to pause it. Uh, what's going on up here? I'll figure out, like I said, we'll talk here. Uh, we can do all kinds of things. You can see how the kill box is working here. They can slow down on the spin blades and the Ring trap just throws them into the pit for an insta kill. That's really good for smaller and lighter, huge hordes of enemies. It's very efficient. And don't don't get hung up on trying to kill everything in the kill box of the soul harvester. 
you have it in a good spot, it will just make, just think of it as like bonus money. Uh, if you try too hard to uh, limit it to one spot, uh, your enemies will eventually get to that one spot and they'll just overwhelm it. So again, and you can even put a second one down later if you get another spot. Like, it's also getting a large cluster. Just as long as that spot makes 2,000 gold, it'll pay for itself and then it'll be more bonus money. So with that said, I'm going to put some more killing power here. See here, they're not just being thrown into the pit, but they cluster up so much that they're being shoved off the side by the other enemy. Everything's going well. We got 11,000 gold for our soul harvester here. That's nice. Remember, flame damage from Inferno Traps does stack. Those wars are kind of my barricade, it's real easy. Nice things about hex traps is they're fast enough to catch stuff like horses. It's one of the reasons I make a good backline defense for a runner. Notice that the, those brutes, they take two of the hex traps to pick them down, turn them into frogs. Mostly it just does a bunch of damage to them. That's one of the reasons I'm adding them over here to kind of sap hit points out of brutes and golems and stuff. And potentially an insta kill. Also, fully upgraded, they make exploding frogs, which makes more damage. So, more damage. Oh dear.
had to sell a trap, actually. Oh, another 49. Incoming. Thousand or so on the uh, soul harvest. Oh, this is looking ugly. Well, it's not getting into out. Thirty-three thousand and change on the uh, thirty-four thousand on the soul harvester. No, I don't talk much, but it's just kind of a grind fest. Uh, I guess it should try to entertain you more. Uh, explain a little bit of what's going on here. So we saw the original spin blades. They, they slow them down. They get thrown to the pit. Now, that doesn't get all of them, obviously, but I've been upgrading these with uh, bleeding, and that stacks with the damage over time from the Inferno. Uh, all traps still do quite a bit of damage, but there's a lot of enemies, so, eh. Uh, just kind of filling in loose pace with more killing potential. See, the enemies are very fast and very tough now. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get to wave 70. That, that would be a bit of a challenge. They're, they're fighting the traps real hard now. Still, the reason that I'm, I'm doing so well, though, is, you know, that I've lasted this long, is a lot of them are falling into the pit. And I don't have to do all the damage to the hit points. They just instantly die. They're either being turned into frogs or falling into the pit, mostly. And I'll be able to go a couple more waves. Uh, once they start getting over here, as I can drop barricades on them. Seven thousand on the uh, soul harvester. It's making a lot of money. You may notice that if enough of these harpoons hit, then uh, it'll pull even the uh, anchor rune brute into the uh, pit there. I said I wouldn't make it to wave 70 probably, but I might make it to wave 70. Oh, wave 71 incoming. Ah, uh, this may finally be it. That's a lot of stuff coming through.
Made it through. I didn't even see it. Fair enough. What was my total? Let's see. Is that a four? One, two, three. One, two. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, my total experience was four million. Uh, huh. Ninety thousand one hundred and fourteen. So, yeah. Uh, just ten grand off of four point one million. So my previous was six hundred and twenty-seven thousand. So I did beat that. I did beat that. Uh, gaining me three hundred. Uh, sorry, three hundred. It's so weird. It's such a high number. I've never had uh, numbers that high. Uh, three million four hundred and sixty-two thousand eight hundred and sixteen experience points, and that's almost certainly a level up. Well, it's, uh, the base. The base experience was. 1,205,539. So, let's see what that does for me. Well, that was definitely a level up. And another level up. And another level up. And another level up. And another level up. Okay, so that got me from like seven, that got me like five levels. I was actually very close. Uh, I was less than this amount here from hitting 80th level anyway, so it really got me probably closer to four levels. Almost anything I'd have done would have probably gotten me level 80. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, 400. I guess we'll do the celebratory gem spending before I go. Yeah, my drill fantasy is getting my lightning trap up to plus 100% bonus damage. Seventy-three bonus damage. Got me six, uh, thirteen percent bonus damage on a lightning trap. Yay! Yay! I know some of you are thinking level fifty lightning trap. Yes, that sounds lovely. I don't have anything near that, so go to hell. But now you'll be there someday. Um, just a couple of four million experience point endless modes. And here's the thing: is I could have probably done better uh, if you know. I mean, I had decent traps for that one. But, you know, different trap setups, you know, someone using traps, different, more efficient than what I was using, might have done better. Uh, those were the traps I like to use. Uh, maybe I'll make another one of these endless mode videos, super long, but, you know, hey, asked for it. There it is. So, see you next time.